How do you add your own Apple ID to Messages? First, you'll need to sign out of the Teltext issued Apple ID and password. To do so, first tap Settings, then tap Messages, then tap Send and Receive, then tap the Teltex Apple ID. Last, tap Sign Out. To sign in with your personal Apple ID and password, first, tap Use your Apple ID for iMessage. Then enter your Apple ID and password. Then tap Sign In. To add your personal Apple ID to Messages, first you'll need to sign out of the Teltex issued Apple ID. To sign out, first tap Settings. The settings icon is a gray square with circular gears inside. Once you tap Settings, it will launch the Settings menu. In Landscape mode, scroll down on the left-hand side until you see Messages. Tap Messages. On the right-hand side of the screen, locate the Send and Receive option. It is the fourth option from the top. Tap Send and Receive. You'll then see your Teltex issued Apple ID highlighted in blue at the top of the screen. Tap the Apple ID. A white box will pop up in the middle of your screen that reads iMessage account, then lists your Teltex issued Apple ID and then gives you options for change location, sign out, or cancel. Tap sign out. To sign in with your personal Apple ID, tap the line that says example at iCloud.com. Then enter your personal Apple ID. Then tap the line underneath that says Required and enter your personal Apple ID password. Then tap Sign In. We'll wait for just a moment while it verifies. You're now able to use your personal Apple ID to send and receive messages on your iOS device.